Hi, I'm Rob Benedict. I play Chuck on Supernatural and you're with Sounds of Series. Uh, no, it was all, it, the only thing that I knew when I joined the cast is that I was the prophet, Chuck, and I thought it was gonna be one episode. And so, you know, then it turned into this much bigger thing. And, uh, you know, and then um, at the end of season five, I found out that I was God, um, but, but then we kind of kept that secret because they wanted fans to have their own interpretation of who I was. Um, and then ultimately in season 10, I kind of got to come out that I was God. And, um, and then now at the end of the show, it turns out I'm kind of a vengeful God that's tearing everything down and kind of ultimately ending the show. So I never imagined any of that was gonna happen. So for me, that was all, all new. It's bitter, it's bittersweet. It's, uh, it's sad for sure. I mean, I've worked with that crew for 13 years and um, they're all Canadian. And so, you know, a lot of them, I had to say goodbye and don't know when I'm gonna see them again. So um, that was hard. And, and certainly, you know, I, I get to see the actors at the conventions, but since COVID's happened, there's been no convention. So, you know, I mean, there's some of my, my best friends on that convention circuit and working on that show. So, I, you know, I miss those actors. I miss all that. And it's definitely an end of a chapter uh, in my life, but, I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful that it happened and uh, you know, so happy to have been a part of it. And, and I think you know, it'll, it'll live on in conventions and you know, hopefully a, a reunion movie or something like that. Well, you know, Jensen and Jared both got a baby. They both got to take a different version of baby with them. So I'm not saying I'm gonna steal their car but it'd be nice to sort of be able to ride that around for a day. You know what I mean? Just like borrow baby for a day. That would be cool. Um, you know, part of me, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it just, it's, I think the writing was great. I think Jensen and Jared are very captivating actors. And um, I think all the other guest stars that they've gotten on that show are also really good. And, um, the guy who shot it, uh, Serge, uh, was amazing. So it looks really good. Um, but I also think it's just one of those shows that people who watched it early on were like, there's something special here. There's something special about the writing, something special about these two guys. Um, and of course, then Misha, when he joined season four. Um, but I think social media has helped this show. I think that early on, people were just beginning to tweet and right when our show was getting started and people were tweeting about it and having Facebook groups about it. And, um, and that, and that, that, that mattered and, and, and studio execs started to look at that stuff. So they were like, Oh, wow. They started listening to fans. And I think that that, that element and the, the fandom that this has created has kept us going. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be uh, in the new season of Lucifer. I'm going to do a few episodes of that. And, uh, and then I'm going to be on a, a Netflix show called On the Verge. So, yeah, so that, that should all be out next year. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot in common with Chuck up until he went on this temper tantrum that he's on right now. Before he got real angry, I have a lot in common with old Chuck, an old God, not as in common with this year's God. So I would say I have more in common with Chuck up through season 14 and more in common with Amara for season 15.